available. I'm gonna turn my attention to this story real quick, man. This just popped up. You know, this is breaking right here. Um, apparently, R. Kelly, you know, did an interview. His first interview since being released, you know, on uh, one million dollars bond. And pretty much, I'll just play the clip, man. Here we go, R. Kelly. There's a piece of the interview from CBS. No, I'm, sure. I'm Jeff Floor, and we are going to begin here tonight with an interview many have been waiting for. R. Kelly's first since being charged with sexual abuse last month. Gail King of CBS This Morning just spoke with Kelly. The charges against the singer involve four women, three of whom were allegedly underage at the time. In an interview that just wrapped, Kelly told Gail the accusations are lies. We have two clips here. Here is the first. They are still talking about you with underage girls. Do you still sit here and say you have never been with underage girls? Can you really say that? I sit here and say this. I had two cases back then that I said in the beginning of the interview that I would not talk about because of my ongoing case now. Okay. Okay. okay fair enough. But okay. I will tell you this. People are going back to my past. Okay. That's exactly what they're doing. They're going back to the past and they're trying to add all of this stuff now to that, to make all of the stuff that's going on now feels real to people but the past is relevant with you with underage girls absolutely no it's not why because for one i beat my case when you beat something you're acquitted you, you were acquitted. can't double jeopardy me like that you can't it's not fair it's not fair to nobody when you beat your case you beat your case but i'm not talking about the one case in which you were acquitted i'm talking about the other cases where women have come forward mm -hmm. and said R. Kelly had sex with me mm. when I was under the age of 18. Mm. R. Kelly was abusive to me emotionally mm. and physically and verbally. Okay. R. Kelly took me in a black room where unspeakable things happened. This is what they're saying about you. These are old rumors. Not true. What they're old rumors, new rumors. Why would they say this rumors? about you? Not true. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, that you have never held anybody against their will i don't need to they, why would i well i'm how I'm, stupid would never help r anybody. kelly with all i've been through in my way way past to hold somebody let alone four five six fifty you said why how stupid would i be to do that i didn't say that's you stupid anybody. guys i didn't is this that. camera on me yes it's on. that's stupid use your common sense don't Forget the blogs. Forget how you feel about me. Hate me if you want to. Love me if you want. But just use your common sense. How stupid would it be for me to, with my crazy past and what I've been through, oh, right now I just think I need to be a monster and hold girls against their will, chain them up in my basement, and, and don't let them eat and don't let them out unless they need some shoes down the street from their uncle. Brother. Stop it. Y'all quit playing. Quit playing. Robert. I didn't do this stuff. This is not me. I'm fighting for my life. So that's um you know from CBS. You know that article was just freshly, you know, out. You can see the full interview. We'll leave the link, you know, to that, you know, um in the description box. Real loaded, you know, right there, Sam man. man. Um Real emotional. Um you didn't get to see it, but you'll get to see it later. Yeah. Um a lot of passions actually really crying there um what do you think this kind of you know does this change the tide for you you know because we, we be you know in the beginning we were kind of you know on the side of you know was this a conspiracy against this brother then more and more evidence came out and then he got arrested you know what i mean so um what do you think about you know this outcry by r kelly man brother i'm, I'm not gonna lie to you it's a, it's a it's a loaded it's very loaded now to talk about the back end when he talks about the whole sex trafficking and the cult and the holding women against his will mm -hmm. i a thousand percent agree with him on that I think that we talked about this numerous times that if you're a grown woman and you decide you want to be in a, in a, in a situation or a relationship where there's multiple women around, that's your prerogative. That's what you do. No one has any justification in saying whether that's right or wrong. Jocelyn Savage, a grown woman. Her parents may not like where she's at, but if she decides to be where she's at, she decides to be where she's at. That is what it is. I, I don't I don't I don't really have anything to say about that. I, I really don't have much to put on the sex cult whole allegation, the pedophilia side of it. When he started talking about unaged girls, he was trying to just say that they're trying to bring up my past. And this is where I feel like, damn, who was around him? They needed to get him to stop talking. 
he didn't have to show that side because I think that in that side, hurt him? that's going to kill him. I think this interview right here is going to that's going to kill. Him. I think so. I know so. I mean, do I know so? I don't want to say I know so, right. but how often do you see these kind of whole pro high profile situations where we're breaking news and somebody's talking about it? We would love to hear people talking about these situations before the trial happens. He was set to be in court in another couple of weeks. Like, why did his lawyer allow him to go and sit there? And although we, I, I believe. He may have needed it, though, Sam, man, not to cut you off, because public, you know, they say that court, a lot of these cases are tried in the public. He may have needed to show, not to say, I don't know if it's going to help him or hurt him. I don't know yet. You know what I mean? But he may have needed to just show that emotion for the people who have, may have been on the fence, that may have been R. Kelly supporters. Who just want you to speak out and say something, even if the lawyer says they want to hear that they, I you know, mean, they love R. Kelly, the music, you know, he's a hero, superstar. So it may have touched people to say, look, this is a conspiracy to take this man down. This man may just be innocent of these charges. And he brought up points. He said, look, they put me in before I won. We just got finished saying the same thing about Michael Jackson. They brought him into court. He beat the cases. Right now, R. Kelly hasn't been convicted of any sexual crimes yet. But okay, as of yet, did he give you any information to make you believe that Aaliyah wasn't that 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 whole marriage license wasn't forged? Still, did he give you any kid indication that he still wasn't on these sex tapes? I'm not saying that people aren't having conspiracies against him, but when I start looking at why, because I gotta ask why, if they got a conspiracy out against your brother, why? Sam, man, they, they in, back in the day they had the tapes too. Now they're saying they have new tapes. Back then they had the tapes. He still walked right or wrong. Was he on? Okay, so it's up. I ain't see it, but. They okay. Speak. Well, now they're saying that they have tapes out there, yeah, and, and so um, yeah, man, um, you know, R. Kelly, he comes out, you know, um, very emotional. You you thinking that this may, you know, um, indeed hurt him? I'm saying that it may help him, you know, um, but we only will see. But we do know that, you know, he beat these cases before. He had videotapes out, and all, you know, all these heavy allegations. Now the Leah thing, we know that's cut and dry. Mm. But right now, you know, um, it, it could turn into a situation. You know, if this ain't here's my thing. If they and they got him on tape now, and they're saying they got D DNA evidence, I don't think he's gonna win. This might be one of those last this efforts for somebody to just, you know, um, just throw it all away and, and try to get the sympathy of the people. But um, I don't know, man. This, this is getting crazy, crazy about a day now. I'm not mad at him for going out and doing it. I'm not saying that he's wrong for doing it. You just right. don't. It's not usually smart because now a prosecution could pick what he said apart. A prosecution can now take what he said out here no, that's a good point and maybe yeah. take that and use that against him which is often why you don't typically see defendants Talk. coming out and defending themselves how many people were in a situation where their life was on the line that were innocent that couldn't say a fucking word right so it's just it's just yeah, a game yeah, that you not, guys got to be smarter about i think that in the situation where he just didn't openly go i've never touched a 14 year old girl in my motherfucking life are you kidding me the way he defended himself when he came to that sex trafficking thing may be used against him that's all i'm saying he can yeah, because when, when he was kind of asked directly he was just kind of like well, it would be stupid for me to you know what i mean he ran. He, yeah yeah he kind of he kind of you know you can look at it you can read it how you want to read it people want to read it different ways but um it's crazy man cbs has that interview i'm sure i'll definitely can't wait to get in and you know watch that full interview you know in its entirety you know later on tonight but um the clip there was pretty you know um charged wow yeah indeed man i wasn't expecting that that's that was wow yeah and that actually just dropped so yeah man r kelly you know pretty much coming forward proclaiming his innocence saying he's fighting for his life and this is one thing you know again um if you were in that situation or anybody else in that situation, you never know how you will react. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? What's your life be? You know, forget the waiting to go to court. I got to say something in the public now mm -hmm. because he really has been quiet for years. Now, he really, I mean, he's I mean, very, he's a few very few. Right, 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 right. Very few. But mm -hmm. yeah, like throughout the years, he hasn't really been saying much about it, deflecting it here and there. And then he's made songs about it and things like that. But this is the most outspoken and most emotional we've ever seen. You can tell it's really getting to him. Yeah. It's yeah, getting to him. Definitely. And Any chance of R. Kelly? runs flight risk because he didn't get out with no bracelet on um, maybe like that when you when you and i didn't see it like i said we're gonna watch it and i don't know if we we'll actually play the actual tape on the podcast you'll definitely hear it. i don't know if we we'll actually right. play the tape but when you watch it you can hear it mm -hmm. you can hear the pain and the panic in his voice i'm sure you're gonna be able to see it in his eyes i'm sure you just saw it yeah yeah shit why not yeah definitely looks like a man in turmoil yeah definitely man but yeah that's r kelly man you're tuned into the un Sense of Truth podcast with your brother, Old God and Sam, man. Going in today on this Tuesday. We're going in today, man. Yeah, so if you're listening on YouTube, as always, go ahead and hit the like button. And make sure that you go ahead and share this video.